the longest living humans are also the most insulin sensitive. So you're telling me that the longest living humans are the ones that are able to stave off that insulin resistance. Yes. Yes. So like there keep, are. Keep their insulin levels lower. That's right. Yeah. In fact, most of the longevity research, a sort of a final point on this, um, is that when you look at these studies that look back in time and say, okay, what is it about these people? What variables tend to go along with the longest lived humans? One of them is that they're insulin sensitive and their blood glucose levels are, in fact, a very well done study just last year out of Sweden. I think it was just one year ago. They looked at all, and Sweden is meticulous in its, in its record keeping, which is an advantage. In, in a fairly homogenous society, so it kind of eliminates some confounding variables. But they attempted to document what, are the, what were the variables that were just the most consistent theme of people who lived very long. One of them was good glucose control. And this next one is very controversial because they found that they also, the longest lived people had high cholesterol levels. And isn't that funny? It is one of the most consistent themes of longevity research that the longest lived people have higher cholesterol. And yet we live in a world that hates cholesterol. And the moment cholesterol goes up, we put them on a cholesterol lowering medication. We could be doing the perfectly wrong thing to help these people live longer.